Hello, my name is Fiona Skinner and I'm the manager for the mental health support teams in East Sussex. And hello, my name is Lucy Hill and I'm the service manager for mental health and emotional wellbeing with East Sussex County Council. In this recording, we're going to talk about what is self-harm, the reasons for self-harm and other ways that difficult feelings might be managed. As school staff, you are the professionals who are likely to have more contact with young people than any other professional. In that time, you build up relationships with young people that may come to you for support. Self-harm is everyone's business and it is important for everyone working with young people to understand about self-harm. Self-harm is defined as intentional self-poisoning or injury, irrespective of the apparent purpose. This definition is from the National Institute for Clinical Excellence, known as NICE. The Self-Harm Network UK says that self-harm is deliberately causing harm to oneself by causing physical injury, putting oneself in dangerous situations or self-neglect. This can be seen by cutting, burning, poisoning, biting, pulling out hair, hitting themselves, inserting objects into the body, picking or scratching their skin. Self-harm is a way of communicating emotional distress and managing difficult feelings. It can be planned or impulsive. Why young people self-harm will vary, but it is important that the reason can be understood. Self-harm can provide comfort, it can be soothing and release tension, and can provide an opportunity to seek care and nurture from others. This can be particularly important for young people with difficulties self-regulating. Self-harm can be a way of communicating distress without using words. It can be a way of gaining control. If they do not feel that they have control in their life, it is a control over their body determining the severity of the harm to their body. To feel alive can be a reason. This would be due to real life experiences leaving them feeling numb. By hurting their body, they can feel something that makes them feel alive and real again. Self-harm can be a distraction from the unbearable emotional pain that they feel inside. Some young people have feelings of shame, low self-esteem and self-blame. These feelings can become so hard to bear that they will harm themselves as a punishment. By hurting themselves, young people can release feelings that can feel unbearable to hold inside. We are now going to talk about some factors that contribute to the risk of self-harm in young people for you to be aware of. An attempt of suicide or self-harm by a family member, low self-esteem, depression or anxiety, significant family conflict such as domestic abuse, being in a local authority care, parental mental health difficulties, physical or sexual abuse, neglect or trauma, bullying. Autistic young people are more likely to self-harm than non-autistic people. Young people who identify as LGBTQ plus are 30 to 50% more likely to self-harm. Girls are more likely to self-harm than boys, but boys do self-harm and are less likely to tell anyone. Sometimes none of these risk, risk factors will be present and a young person may harm themselves who appear well and are from a supportive background. When you know that a young person is using self-harm as a way of managing their feelings, it can be helpful to see if there are alternative ways they may be able to manage in the moment. In the toolkit, there are suggestions for this, and they include, for calming, stress relief or distractions, this could be going for a walk, stroking their pet, relaxing in a bath, breathing exercises, listening to music, drawing, writing, cooking, or talking to a friend. To release or manage emotions, they could do some exercise, singing or shouting, punching a pillow, listening to loud music or tearing up paper. They can create a calming distraction. Self-soothe box is in the self-harm toolkit and this can provide them with the items that are most useful to them at the time of their distress. We hope that you have found this recording useful as you support young people.
Thank you.